Hello and welcome to my presentation on the need for security lights along the walking path behind Cowell Community College. Now, um, some of you may not know that there is a walking park back there. It starts at the parking lot for the early college, which is K Building, and it runs back uh, behind it where the creek is. There's a fairly large creek back there, and it comes uh, out behind H&E building. Uh, there is also a bridge over the, the, the creek uh, that takes you to where the new electrical lineman's building is being built and then it will take you uh, up a hill where you can either go to Redwood Park or you can continue on up to Hudson Elementary School. Now the amount of light uh, that we need will depend on the length that we have to light. Uh, upon measuring it, I found out that there is 1,848 feet that needs to be lit for adequate safety. Now, <clears throat> after doing some research into a traditional uh, light pole like you would see going down the road outside your house, uh, there's some pretty extensive um, calculations that need to be made into that because you have to dig the holes for them. You have to run power to them, and um, it's going to actually cost money uh, to be able to pay a power bill for those each month. After research, I have discovered that the most cost efficient and greener way to go would be solar lights. The solar lights themselves will require no power run to them. They will not be on the grid. They will consist of the light two batteries and a solar panel per light and the pole of course. Uh, each one of these lights, battery, solar power uh, and pole is considered a kit. With the length that we have to cover we will need 13 systems, they call them systems or sets, uh, to, to provide adequate lights for this area. It is very heavily tree covered and in the spring and summertime, it will get darker um, because of the leaves that are on the trees in that area. Um, during the day, it, it's fine. It still gets kind of dark back there during the day because it is under such heavy tree cover, but the lights will make up for that uh, when they are installed. Uh, each light system puts out the same amount of light in the, the same area, uh, three of the light systems with the solar lights would cover the same amount of illumination that eight regular street lights would cover, which is great uh, because it's, you're going to save money doing it that way too. Uh, from what I have figured up, we, like I said, we have 1,848 feet that need to be covered. It will take 13 systems um, to provide the correct amount of light that we need to provide safety back there. Um, it would be probably close to 100 lights that was regular, a regular street light if we was going that route in addition to um, the power that you'd have to pay each month for them. With the solar lights, um, it's going to take an hour per system to install and the beauty of it is where a traditional park was to was to purchase these systems, they would have to hire someone to come and install them. Now, one advantage that we have is that we have the electrical uh, lineman's pole class that could actually do this for us. The only equipment that will be needed will be a bucket truck, which they have access to. So, at one hour per system, you know, I, I would figure within a week. Uh, the complete walkway, the complete path, walking path could be could be completed and illuminated. Uh, the systems themselves for the entire systems is fifty four thousand dollars, fifty three thousand eight ninety eight, uh, fifty four thousand dollars. Now this seems kind of pricey, but if you look at it in the long run, where we don't have to hire someone to come in and install it for us. We have that. We're going to have that at the college already for us. And we're not going to be paying a power bill each month for these lights. They they will provide uh, their own illumination. The solar panels will soak up the sunlight. It will be stored in the two batteries 
uh, that come in each kit and then uh, when it starts getting dusk the batteries will send the juice to the to the lights turn them on so I believe the the average battery life is 10 years so you know minimal minimal maintenance on these so I, I believe that would provide the needed safety for anyone who uses it now and I also believe that it would be uh, an invite for the people who don't know about it and that that don't use it now probably could so uh, this is my proposal thank you for watching